Hey YouTube, welcome back to another vlog with me, Victor, professional speed skater, ice and inline, and two times Olympian from Denmark. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you a bit about how I managed to do skating professionally. It obviously takes a lot of money to travel the world and to train every day. It's a full-time job and it's not that easy to become a professional speed skater. Same for, goes for a lot of sports. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my five um, tricks, I would say to start earning an income while you're doing your sport. The first thing that I did was to create a YouTube channel. YouTube gives you a salary. If you manage to grow your account and your channel, it will pay you every month a certain amount of money depending on how many views and from which countries your viewers are. So it generates this thing called RPE. It's like basically how much you're earning per view. And uh, if you do a good job, you can actually earn quite a lot of money. In my case, lately it's been more than a thousand euro or a thousand dollars per month, all the way up to $1,500 a month, which is quite an impressive salary just for sharing a bit of knowledge. And as you can see, I can do it from basically anywhere. Currently I'm sitting at the World Cup final in the Netherlands. I made a YouTube channel. And the cool thing about this is that you do not have to be a world champion in order to earn an income. You just have to be either good at making content and editing and that kind of stuff, or just know a lot about your sport and share tips and tricks to, to the people watching, which is mainly what I do here in my YouTube channel. Sharing some stuff from the Olympics and then sharing a lot of training advice on how to be better at sports. The next thing you can do to fund your own professional career is to try and coach and train other athletes. You can either do it um, by doing training camps, organizing training camps. If your sport is very big, you can probably just do it in the local area. In my case, skating is not that widely spread, especially not in Denmark. So I've been doing some international training camps where I invite as many people as I feel comfortable coaching. And then uh, obviously they're gonna pay a fee to participate and that fee is gonna go straight into my pockets, funding my skating career. You don't have to be a world champion. You just need to know a lot about the sport you practice and you need a certain amount of skills when it comes to knowing how to teach other people. It takes more than just a good skater to help other people be good at skating. A lot of fun. I try and do it a lot in my off season because it does steal a little time for my own training. So that's why I usually do it right after my season finale when I have some weeks or even full month of less intensive training. The main income that I have is my own private sponsors and of course Team Denmark that supports my journey alongside the Danish Skating Union. Finding sponsors is not that easy, especially if you do not have an agent, which for most athletes watching this video, it's probably not the case because those are also pricey and you need to already be a very established elite level athlete. But at first, the thing you should definitely do that I've done myself and a lot of athletes that I know have done is to sign up for the Sport Endorse platform. Sport Endorse is a platform that is basically crowd athlete management, but you still have actual people helping you out to connect with brands. And there's hundreds of brands on the platform and there's people helping you and the brands to make that link between the two of you. So everything goes smoothly. And that way you can reach out to way more people or way more brands than you would yourself. And it's also a good stamp to have there that you're actually a legit athlete. That's a really nice way to approach them other than just trying to find phone numbers or send random emails. So that's a really cool way. And this is how I personally uh, received the majority of my, my income. And this is the main reason I, am, I can today be a professional athlete. I have different sponsors. Some are very local from the city I grew up in. Others are Danish sponsors. And then I have a few international brands that are very sport related. First, I would definitely try and look around in the local area. First of all, I would sign up for Sport Endorse because they have so much more experience. Another smart way to really kickstart a professional career, especially if you have a short-term project, could be trying to go for the next Olympic Games, is to create a fundraiser. This is if you really believe you have the potential and you need to be very committed because this is other people's actual money and you should not take that if you do not give it 100% in your effort to make that goal that you set out to, to chase. Doing fundraisers is a really nice way and you're sure that the people that become part of your journey really have the best intentions because they're in, in, in theory giving you money without expecting anything in return. I've done this in the early years of my professional career and one thing that I really felt and noticed was this boost of morale and motivation. Not just yourself you're fighting for, it's also the people that stand behind you and, and that's just an extra little push in the right direction. And the final thing I wanna share with you is doing speeches. 
um, this is mostly if you're already an established athlete with a little bit of stories to tell, of course, but doing speeches can not just be a nice thing because you can give some back and you can try and motivate others, but you can also generate a quite solid income as an athlete. Companies or younger, uh, younger people at it could be sports schools or local clubs. You might not be aware of this because you're probably so used to being so determined and chasing that dream of yours. But for a lot of people, this can be very, very inspirational to listen to. Try and reach out. The way I did this the first time was simply just writing out on my Facebook or my Instagram. Yo, anybody wants to listen to me? I've experienced some things not a lot of people have. I've been traveling the entire world with this crazy idea of just chasing a dream of one day maybe going to the Olympics with no idea if I was gonna make it or not, but I just really had that fire from within to try. That story in itself, even if I had not accomplished what I have, I think that could help a lot of people out. And that is the same mentality and approach you should have if you try and reach out to people and just offer them a speech or a little motivational talk. All right, that was my advice on how to kickstart that professional career of yours. Of course, the most important thing is to be good and to love what you do, which I really do. And that's step one from there. You can take it to a professional level if you make good use of this. You should start out by just signing up for Sport Endorse. I am an ambassador for Sport Endorse and there's a reason for that. I really think that's a cool concept and I hope it's gonna help a lot of athletes either have my level or upcoming athletes that really need that help to make it into the pro field. There's a link below where you can sign up directly. And then I just wanna say thanks a lot for watching this video. I really enjoy making YouTube, it's, it's fun. And uh, there's for sure gonna be a lot more. My skating season is ending now. So I'll have more time to produce some high quality content when my incredibly unprofessional video editing skills. But thank you so much for watching. Anyways, I promise to do my best to improve step by step. See you for the next video, guys.